Today we're gonna build this brown mushroom farm. I'm gonna also build it in hardcore Minecraft so you can also easily replicate it in survival. But first the material list. So first some yeah some side facts here. Um, this uh, is a brown mushroom stem farm here as you can see you can harvest them here later. Um, the farm is g got popular because of Grian. You probably know Grian from um, yeah from Hermitcraft. He built this farm because he needed the brown mushroom stems and yeah that's why the farm is yeah popular and this is also as far as I know the only design that actually works for the brown mushroom stems and I'm, as mentioned i'm gonna build it in hardcore so you can easily follow with all steps in survival so first we need our items here so there we go so um, sugar boxes where you can put the items into and then we need some building blocks i'm gonna take these smooth stone here so you can easy follow in the in the guide there we go some redstone Oh damn, I don't have enough comparators here. There we go. And some temporary blocks here. Oh please. Oh yeah, I got pots out. Perfect. Damn, no mushrooms. Oh perfect. There we go. First repairing everything and then we got everything ready to go so let's find a perfect spot and yeah the biome doesn't matter so we can choose any biome I'm gonna choose uh, yeah this area here close to my base and then I think we're gonna just start here here's a pretty flat area and yeah perfect for a farm so we can't build the farm directly on the ground so we'll just build up for some blocks I'm yeah, like 10 blocks should be enough depending on the area you're in um, and then we have to build a 3x6 platform. Then we're gonna place a dropper right here and a hopper leading into it. And you probably know that large farms can quickly cause a single player world to lag. This is where gportal, the sponsor of today's video, comes into play. At gportal you can run cheap and fast Minecraft servers. You can even install mods or transfer your single player world to the server if you want to play with friends in your world and you don't want to lose your progress. gportal not only offers Minecraft servers but also servers for many other games such as Ark Survival Evolved, Rust or Valheim. With the link in the video description you get 10% discount on your server and support me at the same time. And then we're gonna expand this by th uh, 3x2 platform. And then go to this edge here. This is by the way just my storage system here with the temporary blocks there. So and then go count on the fourth block and place water so we can build below this uh, block here. Go down and place four temporary blocks and one building block. There we go. And then we can remove the temporary blocks again and replace the water here if you if it would be better. Like for example there. Yeah, perfect. Then go up again and place the temporary blocks on the left and right side here and one building block here and three on this block. Then take redstone torches, place one here, with redstone on these four spots. And then watch into this direction and start uh, yeah, placing some temporary blocks here and then go one block higher and make this line uh, 11 blocks yeah wide and then place redstone all over this line here then go here place another temporary block and place a building block here and then build two more out and to this direction two more and then temporary block again and another building block on top there we go and then another temporary block and into this direction for three blocks now or oh, four blocks sorry and then on top of the redstone torch another building block and the redstone torch on top of the building block then take a repeater place it right here and here and the last one right here and then place redstone on all other blocks not the temporary block of course
then place a building block right here and go out for one temporary block and then go four blocks out and three blocks into this direction and then four again into this direction oh no sorry <laughs> oh, so three then place three more blocks and place them like so Then go here and place a redstone lamp right on top of this redstone torch and the building block on top of this repeater. And behind it one pot salt block. Then take powered rails and normal rails and place them like so. And the barrel on top of this hopper. Then take a temporary block here again if you haven't removed it yet. If you have removed it yet. And then these two building blocks. And then a repeater, place it right here. And then take two comparators, place one here and the other one right here. And then give your yeah, turn this one on. And fill in the rest of the area here with redstone. Now go here and place the building block right here. And then go out for nine more blocks. So it's a total of 10 blocks here. Then take more building blocks and build another line right here. Yeah, after, if you're close to the end, like here, and um, place a glow block, like glowstone, for example, or any other light source. And then go here and build out for eight more blocks on this block. Oh no. Sorry, for seven. Um, so we got a total of eight blocks right here. Then place another glowstone here or the other light source that you have. And then fill in the whole area here with uh, building blocks except the th these two blocks here. Leave this gap here. We're gonna need this later. But fill in the rest of the area with building blocks like so. Then go to this end here and place a building block or four building blocks into this direction and a light block on the end and another building block behind it. Then expand it by one block here and then connect these two edges so we get one big area here. Another building, uh, another light source right there. And there we go. Now we have filled in the whole area. And then go here and place the stairs so we can easily go up here. There we go. And then go here, place the building block on this redstone here, then a furnace right here and a redstone torch on the furnace and a repeater on top of the furnace. Then place water here so we can go down again and then take a sticky piston and place it in front of the repeater, a bit tricky with the water here but not that hard. Then a slime block and a redstone block below it. And then we can pick up the water again. Then we go on this side here. Place a temporary block and a building block on top. Then two more temporary blocks and another building block. Then we can remove these two again. And then red sun on top of them. And go here on top of the pot sole and place a dispenser right here. And then another temporary block right here and this pis uh, piston looking towards the pot sole. Then go out for two more blocks behind the piston and one more block here. And then take hoppers and place them as ID. Always leading into the hopper in front of them, very important. Then take a double chest, place it here and one single hopper leading into this chest. Then yeah, these hoppers are all leading into the dispenser and only the one into the chest. So place a temporary block right here and build a 2x4 platform. Now 
now go into this direction for four, out for four blocks and into the other one for five blocks and then make another row of blocks here. Now take a redstone lamp and place it right Oh no, sorry, a uh, temporary block here and um, yeah, building two building blocks here and here comes the redstone lamp and the lever. Then go here again, remove the temporary block and place redstone like so. Then two redstone here, then place a temporary tile like so and the other one like so. And then we take one more redstone and then we take repeaters and very important, make sure to get the ticks here, three ticks on these two. On this one we don't put any ticks so just place it then two more redstone and then keep placing repeaters on the third tick here as I do to the end there we go and then place a redstone on the last block again then place one building block next to the redstone here there we go then take a double chest and place it on top of the double chest And again a hopper leading into the double chest and then a barrel right here a bit tricky to place it there we go and then take a compost and place it place three compost stars on these three hoppers then place another piston on top of this piston and then take repeater on the first take very important and two redstone and then yeah put building blocks on the dispenser and these hoppers and then another double chest on top of the double chest here and then again at the hopper there we go and then go here place another building block on uh, two more building blocks here and a chest on top of this block and then an observer facing the redstone here with the red signal on to the top as you can see then take redstone and place it like so and then two repeaters and make sure to put the second one on the third tick here and another building block and a comparator now take redstone and place it right here and then go to this side again and place one redstone and another building block you can use a temporary oh. you can use a temporary block to make it easier to place it because this one can be a bit tricky if you don't use a temporary block there we go oh yeah don't drop down as i did and now we got it and then go back to the observer here and place an observer on top of the observer but this one is wrong place it correct like so with the red signal to the top again and then two more pistons on these two pistons and then an observer facing yeah into the pistons here so make sure to place this one correct behind the observers and the pistons we're gonna make a, a 3 by 7 platform and 7 into this or 6 more there we go And then take another hopper and place one leading into these hoppers. And then place the hoppers as I do. They're all leading into the, in, to the one that I've placed them to. So yeah, now we're gonna build a 3x7 platform out of hoppers. But make sure that the hoppers leading into the hoppers and all items will end up in the chest. By the way, only a very very small number of you have subscribed, which is really sad. So if you like my video, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like my video. Subscribing is free and if you do not like my content anymore, you can unsubscribe at any time. So then we go here again. Place redstone and another building block with the help of a temporary block of course. And then another temporary block and another building block. Don't forget the redstone again. 
And on this block we go out for seven more blocks, so we have a total of eight blocks. Now take sticky pistons and place them like I do. And then go here again and take observers and place them leading yeah, into the pistons here. There we go. And place the redstone behind them. Make sure to place uh, yeah, two observers on top of each piston, very important. Then take uh, some temporary blocks here. And then take observers and place them like so, so they watching with the red signal to the to you. And then make two rows of this. There we go. It should look like that now. They take sticky pistons and place one more row of sticky pistons. Then remove the temporary blocks. And in front of the sticky pistons we place another row of normal pistons. Now take observers and fill in the area here with observers, like I do. Ah, uh, this one was too much. There we go. Oh. Now take uh, your composters again, place one right here, and then go to this edge, place a temporary block, and then yeah, go out with building blocks. And on this last spot here, there, uh, we're gonna place one glass block and repeat the same on the other side here. Don't forget the glass block at the end. You don't need white stained glass, by the way. And then go up here again. And take repeaters and place on every observer one repeater. And the red zone on these observers here. And then go down again. And we have to expand the wall by one block. So, like so. But also this time on the pistons and remove the temporary blocks. So there we go. And glass block at the end. Then go down to this area here and place a temporary block right here and a building block, then another temporary block, a redstone block, another temporary block and a building block. And one more time. There we go. And then take powered rails and place them like so. And then take building blocks and fill in this area here. So we get a, a small wall. So now it should look like this. And then go up again. And play, like, yeah, go out for one more block on this side. And then expand it by one block. Then go out or build a 2x4 platform out of this one. And go out for some blocks. Um, yeah until you reach the middle of the hopper here. So this is the four from both sides. So place the redstone block on this block and then go out. And yeah, it go one further than the glass block is. And then we have to expand this row by one block. And yeah, don't uh, yeah leave the last two blocks open and place a temporary block and a building block on top. And then take rails and power rails and place them like I do. So yeah, normal rails on the edges and the power rails between them. Until you reach the end here. Then go here and go down. And then follow along with the steps in the video. This is a very yeah tricky part here. So just follow along with the steps in the video.
So after finishing this, go to this platform again. There you can see the system for just for orientation here. And then go out for two blocks here and place a redstone here and the observer in front of it. And then take a wall and place it in front of the observer. Then take pistons and place them below the observer. Seven blocks in total, uh, seven pistons in total. And then we have to make a seven by four wall out of the pistons. There we go. And then go behind the observer here and place another observer on top of the redstone. And then yeah, build a small line behind the observer um, after placing the redstone, of course, and place a row of building blocks here. And then place redstone on top of all of them. And then another observer on top of this redstone. Oh, this one was wrong. So yeah, just build here, build up with some temporary blocks here. Be makes it easier. So there we go, the observer now, and then another line of building blocks and redstone on top of them. There we go. So now we have to go down here again. Here, this is for orientation, and then yeah, place a temporary block right here and a building block on top of it and then just one redstone. Now go here to the repeaters and give all of them one tick. There we go. And now check if this piston has came out like this one, for example, make sure to yeah, replace them. So they are all one block behind the wall, as you see. So now we are almost ready. Go into this chest and put an any stack of items into it. And then put into this uh, barrel here our mushrooms. And into this barrel we can put in bone meal. And then make sure to remove all temporary blocks. It's very important. Um, yeah. After finishing, we are done. Um, we need our brown mushrooms in our offhand. And then we need a netherite axe with efficiency 5 and unbreaking mandy. Efficiency is very, very important in this farm. Otherwise, it, it will get stuck. So make sure to have a good axe to use this farm. Um, yeah. So now get a minecart and place it right here. Then go in. On, take the axe into your hand and then turn on the farm on this lever. There we go. And then just place the mushroom. And as soon as it grows, um, yeah, he will start going up here. And then just hold uh, hold the axe press down um, so everything will get harvested. Now you see nothing happens. Um, and this is because we made a small mistake I'm gonna explain uh, in a few seconds. So because very important it is that you all remove all yeah mushroom stuff on top on the top otherwise the farm will stop um yeah this happened to me but normally if you if you just hold it down it will get harvested everything will get harvested now i will not harvest everything and then uh, so i can show it to you on top here so not not removing all now and then you see there was some stuff left and if we place a mushroom now nothing will happen because the the yeah, the top is blocked, so a mushroom can't grow. Oh, so if we go on top now, we will have to remove all these mushroom uh, mushrooms manually. This will be a very annoying, but if you do it correctly, there will nothing be left. So make sure to keep this in mind and always have the good timing by using your axe. And then just place one again, so you can easily start again, and the uh, mushroom will start growing again. So just. Hold, hold down your button, mouse button, so everything will get harvested and then it should work. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and bye.